Fun fact, Overwatch 2 released a little over a week ago and I had absolutely no idea that it had released and to such rave reviews as well. <laughs> I, I suppose this is a pretty good explanation why nobody was really talking about it. 1.5, my god, that is... That is rather impressive. I have seen the launch of Overwatch 2 often described as a pinch bumpy, which, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily a lie in the same way that one might describe Hiroshima as a bright flash on the horizon. 1.5. You know what? Maybe Blizzard would have preferred it if people would have simply shut up about the game for at least a couple more weeks. But hey, hey, at the very least, luckily, you know, if you don't like Overwatch 2, if it's not your cup of tea, at least you can just go back and play Overwatch 1, right? Oh, well, no, 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 you can't do that because, well, Blizzard saw this one coming. They realized if, that if they released a horribly broken piece of shit product in which the only actual new feature was the addition of an in-game cash shop <laughs> with <laughs> absolutely hideous goddamn cosmetics, then people might flee back to Overwatch 1, so wisely Blizzard moved to cut off their retreat path by automatically deleting and making the game unplayable. Hmm. A ruthless yet brilliant move there from Activision Blizzard. <laughs> You've almost got to admire the savage barbarism of it. You really do, as, uh, well, you know, if nobody's uh, tied to your cash shop, well, you're not gonna earn any money, and, you know, there's no point in making a game unless you can milk every last single solitary dollar out of the player base, now is there? And in this regard too, Blizzard has come up with a revolutionary new way of making sure the pay pigs are thoroughly, um, butchered. For, you see, there is a bug, or was a bug, more correctly, that made players automatically complete purchases in the game's in-game shop without actually making any purchases. Because you see, the game was interpreting input from the chat box as interacting with the in-game cash shop. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Blizzard, hurry, you need to patent this because there's a lot of money to be earned here. Especially as as well, even the people who had their money spent on an in-game bug, a confirmed and now fixed in-game bug, there will be no refunds because all purchases, all unlocks are meant to be final. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that is actually just... That is the top of scum right there. Now, now, to be fair, to be fair, I would expect Blizzard to issue an official like, okay, no, this is stupid. We're obviously, we're going to refund you because I'm pretty sure this isn't actually legal. I am pretty sure taking somebody's money <laughs> via purchase they haven't actually made, but via an error in your game code could be considered mildly fraudulent at the best of times. And... You know, this guy here is just some random tech support. He probably has no authority to actually be issuing refunds on his own. So, you know, benefit of the doubt, though. Stupid though that might be. But obviously, again, in-game cash shop. Primary difference between Overwatch 1 and 2. Now, again, there are some balance issues, blah 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 but by and large, same game, same general engine, same general aesthetic, same general style, balance changes, etc. And Wow, is that a terrible costume. I just... <laughs> cyberpunk. Mm. This, this, this screams cyberpunk, doesn't it? A dirty, boring, brown, trench coaty thing on an android chick with, like, a, a pink hat. Oh, oh, brilliant. Uh, and this one, like, it's a, a Blue West. Would you like to spend, like, what, a thousand Overwatch oh, coins? Okay. How much is a thousand Overwatch coins? It is about ten bucks. <laughs> Would you like to spend ten bucks on this vest? 
I mean, hell, at least this one, at least this one has some effort put into it. Why on earth this one is cheaper than... It boggles the mind, but hey, details. But luckily, you don't have to worry too much about the in-game cash shop because, well, the game is barely functional. Let's, um, let's have a look here. So we've got here a player, that's uh, not the correct button, I want to click, that is the button. 720p, who is getting ready to play around with his favorite first-person shootery MOBA style game. Okay, right. Let's uh, get the action go. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's a bit weird. Oh, no, okay, right, well, um, just, oh, oh, all right, just, just get out the door and I'm sure it'll all be fine. Just a little bit of lag there, a bit of, oh, no, no, you can't exit the vehicle. No, oh, back and go. Ah, yes. A finished product, indeed, absolutely, assuredly so, obviously, no, no problems there. A little bit of server issues, uh, everyone disconnected but me? Good, good. This is the kind of server stability we expect from a game that has essentially been out for six years already. My account were already synced and now I lost all my heroes because if you used to play Overwatch 1, you were supposed to get all of the original heroes for Overwatch 2, except when you don't, of course, obviously. Get suspended even though I was kicked, brilliant. I lost all the heroes and when I go to see my hero challenges, it says there are no challenges, so losing all the heroes and can't even unlock them anymore, you know. That is brilliant, he's, he's even got the correct icon and everything, and yet he still can't get his heroes. Downright tragic, really. Me waiting all weekend for Blizz to fix the PS5 login issues, only to log in and phone that most of my heroes locked, and Bastion moving in turret mode, and having unlimited ultis. And this isn't even like something that's been, this isn't weak all the response. Like 13 hours ago, game crashed and he doesn't run anymore, which is up to 19. The game is barely even functional, and this is after, this is basically a six-year-old game, running on basically six-year-old servers. There is no excuse for these issues to pop up, especially as, of course, they've also required people to register with their phone number to even be allowed to play the game. Because you know, that'll help them deal with cheaters and griefers. It'll really make the toxic environment just poof, go away, you see. Because if you have to register with your phone number, well, there's no way you're going to see people really obviously cheating, of course, because phone numbers are so damn difficult to get a hold of, aren't they? You know, it's not like there's services on the internet or something where you can literally generate one for under a dollar or anything. No, 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 no. Obviously. And as for the toxic environment... It, wow, it's just... I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how a incredibly... a, a hyper-competitive player versus player game keeps getting people so worked up. <laughs> God. It is so stupid. Like, you cannot moderate away toxicity. It is literally impossible because toxicity, as you call it, is a literal product of being invested in a game. It is giving a shit about the game. You want to win. You play to win. And so when you lose, you're gonna feel bad about it. You're gonna be pissed off. You're gonna say mean words on the internet. And everybody does it. Absolutely everyone. But no, we, we gotta keep trying to moderate this. And um, hey, seems to be working out rather brilliantly, doesn't it? I wouldn't be surprised if all of their in-game voice recordings, which is another thing they've added in, is half the reason for all of the goddamn troubles in the first place. But luckily, at least the cash shop works a little bit too well, in fact, with the auto purchases. And, thank heavens, the new Battle Pass system, where you have to grind to unlock all the items with no other way to unlock anything anymore. That's fully, that's fully functional. And obviously. In case you don't want to grind through tens of thousands of XP to gain your poultry rewards, luckily there is always the option to pay a little bit of money, like 40 euros. Nice. Um, a starter pack season one or a season one premium battle pass because 
Obviously, there is a premium battle pass as well, where you can pay to then grind. Thank heavens. Good God. Oh, they, like this. This is one of those peak greed moments that will go down in gaming history. And thankfully, Activision Blizzard has worked through so much of their goodwill that maybe for once, they'll actually suffer properly from the backlash. Because Activision has been one of those companies that could get away with everything. They were the ones who put loot boxes in Overwatch 1, and nobody cared. This was at the height of the loot box backlash, and everyone's zipped silence. Because why? Because it was Blizzard. But it looks like the point that Blizzard is no longer Blizzard has finally sunk in. And I, for one, am very happy to see it. Overwatch 2. Long may it burn. Until next time. I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, have a good non-overwatchy day.